Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 5. Today we're going to be doing my review for Episode 4, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So, before we actually get into this video, if you guys could subscribe to my podcast channel, that would mean so much to me. I'm going to be doing a giveaway, so all you need to do to win Crisis on Earth X on DVD or Blu-ray, all you have to do is subscribe to my my podcast channel and obviously it would mean a lot if you could watch the videos rather than just subscribing and also leave a like and a comment on this video as well so let's get into today's review so episode four title newsflash this was a really solid episode definitely up there with my favorites like i said all four episodes so far have been really really solid i think episode three is my favorite so far and then episode one and then maybe episode four then two that's probably my old right now this was a very solid episode although it had a few moments with the villain of the episode that were a little bit irritating and a bit cheesy and a bit cliche that I didn't totally gravitate to with her being a vlogger and it's just sort of very of the time and stereotypical and I don't know I didn't like that bit as much but that's like my only gripe with the episode everything else has been put together the whole episode was crafted in a way that sets up the future but also does a great job at capturing the present. I'm not going to be going through it chronologically but let's start breaking down this episode. So the opening scene we get the reveal that Spin who has taken inspiration from Iris in making her own website she gets hit by by dark matter in the night of the incident from the enlightenment so she actually doesn't get powers as it's revealed at the end of the episode. Her phone gets powers so this introduces the idea of metatech and this is where it links into Cicada and how he has powers, how his dagger can absorb and suck away the powers of the metas surrounding because it's metatech and so Cicada's powers aren't inside him, it's inside his dagger but now with that shard inside of him most likely made of the same material as his dagger, he begins at the end of the episode in the ending scene to get super strength so this is another element that's going to be in his favour in becoming this Jack the Ripper modern day figure. This is most likely due to the fact that Nora has changed the timeline, the timeline's changed and now he's got probably super strength that he did didn't have before and it's the fact that the shard is inside of him and that's metatech that it's probably spreading throughout his body and that's why he's getting those powers that you see at the end of the episode so I think that's a really good wrap up from the end of season 4 in how Cicada's powers are actually explained. So we begin the episode with a breakfast scene just after we see Spin for the very first time with the satellite incident obviously and we get Iris failing to make breakfast which was pretty hilarious and I really enjoyed this scene. It was an extended scene with Barry, Iris and Nora and it sort of set up what was going to be happening. It set up the tension for later in the episode and it's later revealed that Iris stopped Nora from ever using her powers until just six months ago as she found out that Iris put a power dampening chip inside Nora. So that is one of the big secrets that was revealed in this episode that we've been waiting for because we have seen that tension between Nora and Iris, how Nora's just dodging Iris most of the time and so it's finally revealed and it ends off the episode in a rather down note, I mean in a way that is kind of sad and you know you don't want it to go that way as a spectator but it makes for good drama so it was so I really enjoyed this part of the episode, it was excellent acting from Jessica Parker Kennedy and also Candace Patton, very very solid performances with Nora's secret being revealed and she goes to Joe and Cecile at the end of the episode. Another part to do with Nora throughout the episode, we get hints at what's going on, you know, what she's like, she's sort of interested in Spin's character because she's a big fan and then, and obviously she finds her pretty attractive and basically Spin is abusing her meta tech and she's using it to get these stories to make this new hero and expose excess in a good way but she's using it for evil intent in the end because she starts to burn the central city newspaper building and then also she tries to make excess kill the flash so she is a villain but essentially it reveals like little elements of Nora's life and what she's like but also the main thing I wanted to touch on is with her releasing that to the world 
with everyone seeing the photos, everyone seeing Nora as XS, most likely there is massive timeline changes because in the Flash Museum in the future, surely if XS is doing this stuff in the past, surely she's going to be in the Flash Museum because she's associated with the Flash. I hope they tackle this timeline changes in the right way because this would put a massive knock-on effect for the future, most likely in regards to the Flash and the Flash Museum, so we'll have to wait and see how that goes. But as the episode goes on, Cicada is revealed to have damaged lungs, and this is most likely from the satellite incident back at the end of Season 4, with Sherlock and Ralph explaining why his mask makes that very insect-like sound that everyone has picked up upon, and I think the sound effects is just amazing for that. It's extremely dark and creepy. And it was an interesting part of the episode with Sherlock revealing all this information, very much so like Sherlock Holmes, and I enjoyed him quite a lot. And so the only thing left to talk about is Barry at the end of the episode, the choice he makes, he chooses to back Iris and therefore a new bridge is created between Nora and him that wasn't there before because now Nora as being the daughter of them will feel like she's been betrayed by her father because she looks up to him so much and the fact that Barry's actually siding with her mum who is sort of a control freak of sorts as Nora reveals in the future, she's obviously going to have her gripe, so I'm looking forward to seeing what happens next between those two and also Iris as well, because I thought that was an excellent part of the episode. So anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Remember to enter the giveaway for the crossover DVD from last year, all you have to do is go in the description below and obviously subs and subscribe to my podcast channel and also leave a like and a comment on this video. So anyway guys, Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later, goodbye.